Coming to you live at the Gamma Trade Show at the Peppermill Resort and Casino in Reno, Nevada, Twist Gaming! Now take it away, Matt. Good evening, everyone, and welcome. I'm Matt, and I'm coming to you here, coming to you here live from Gamma 2019, bringing you all the board game coverage all week long. And I am joined with the one, the only, Andy Looney. Andy, hi there. How you Good doing? Good to see you. Good to see you. Always a pleasure having you. Absolutely. On. Uh, so let's just jump right into it. I know you always have a ton of amazing stuff to show us off here whenever you come on stream, and I know you teased some of this stuff the last time you were on at PAX Unplugged. Mm. So I want to get my grubby paws on this. All right, well, I'm still just teasing because I'm going to show off some things that aren't coming out until like August or so. But what we're doing here at Gamma is we're showing off the new things we are getting ready to bring out and getting our retailers all excited about them. And so I'm going to let you take that sneak peek too and everybody at home gets to see it as well. Sounds good. So we're really excited about Star Trek right now. Mm -hmm. We've had the Star Trek license for not even a year yet. We've already released... Star Trek and Star Trek The Next Generation, Flux. And at the printer now and coming out in May is Deep Space Nine, Flux. Ooh. So that's, that's all pretty exciting. But the thing that I'm really, I was really wanting to do with, with the Star Trek license is Chrono Trek. And Chrono Trek is an um, incredible time travel game based on the Star Trek universe and our classic game, Chrononauts. Have you played Chrononauts? I think we showed it off briefly on stream one time. I haven't had a chance to play a full game of it, though, so forgive me. No, no problem. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, there's a lot of games out there. Oh, yeah. It's been around a while, but uh, it is, it's, it's one of our, our secondary hits. I mean, nothing can compare to Flux. Flux and its various versions are always our, most, our biggest sellers. All of my other games kind of feel jealous of Flux. But, <laughs> but Chrononauts has been doing pretty well, and... Um, it's a time travel game where you get to go and change history. So right. in the original version, it's based on real history, 20th mm -hmm. century American history, world history. But um, now I've tackled the Star Trek universe. And I've put every Star Trek time travel story I can work into in this game. Uh, I don't know. Are you much of a Star Trek fan? I'm actually I'm, I'm a Star Wars fan. I'm oh, a Star Trek fan. Yeah, all right. That's fine. We, we, can, we can be friends anyway. <laughs> but this is for the Star Trek fan who really knows the material, but, but anyone can play it, because like Chrononauts, it's, it's got a set of series of symbols and um, things that work, even if you don't really understand the history. Mm -hmm. But if you do, then you'll, you'll, you're going to, Star Trek fans are going to geek out on this, because it's got everything from Edith Keeler all the way up to um, Picard destroying the whole universe because of the anti-time eruption at the Devron system. And so many things. So I'm just so excited it about it. It sounds like you get into some of the nitty-gritty history details of Star Trek. I have here. tried to take... Well, Star Trek is the perfect me medium for this because they have a lot of different time travel stories mm -hmm. and they have a lot of cases where something will happen, we'll see the alternate universe, and then, of course, they'll fix it. But that's what I need because each of these cards... That's how, in a, Let me take a look at the way that the timeline works here. Mm -hmm. So you'll have events on the timeline that can be changed. So if you go back and, and use... The classic time travel story of the city on the edge of forever, the old school Trek episode where Edith Keeler gets killed. If you if you keep it, if you change history so that she doesn't get killed, mm -hmm. that will ripple other events forward down the timeline. Oh. So that uh, as, as Star Trek fans will recall, when Edith Keeler was saved, it meant that um, the Allies lost World War Two, and and. It, Therefore, huge changes to the to the time stream erupt, rippling and changes. Absolutely, across. they do, and so that's what this game lets you do. It lets you change history, and each of us is going to be an, a, a a character card. It, it put a couple of these up on your on your uh, on your your close viewers so that people can see them. So unfortunately, they green screen a little bit, but you know that's the yellow and the green there. Yeah. So we got uh, Picard, Captain Kirk, Cork. Just, just it, it, uh, so many great characters from the Star Trek universe are in Oh, here you've too. got a big deck of characters. I do. There. I've got there are thirty two different characters, and it spans the entire time stream. Well, it does. I only go up to the end of Enterprise. Um, I, I'm not using anything from Discovery mm -hmm. because it's too early, really. I mean, okay. we we haven't. Well, for one thing, I mean, we're only into the second season on Discovery. We don't know what great time, time travel stories are going to emerge from that. Furthermore, they haven't really done much yet with time travel for us to even um, incorporate in. But everything from 
the original series all the way through Enterprise has been, I, I've, I've, I've pulled all this time travel stories from all of those and put them into this one incredible game. And I'm just so excited about it. But it won't be coming out until August, so you know, maybe I should... Uh, I mean, August is going to be coming sooner it than is, later, though. It is true. But um, it's got a timeline, as I say, with all these events you can change. Plus, it has all these cool artifacts you can go and collect. You know, everything from Tribbles to hum Humpbacked Whales to Romulan Ale to, of course, the, uh, the Guardian of Forever that I mentioned earlier and Data's Head, which is found <laughs> in, in, this, in, a, in the 1800s and goes on a 500-year time journey. Anyway, I, I could talk endlessly about, about Chrono Trek, but I know we don't have a lot of time, and I've got... Other cool things to talk you about. You always too. bring a ton of stuff. So and we love you for I, it. Like I said, the next the next flux coming out is Deep Space Nine flux. But I want to look ahead to the two we've got in the works for this summer. Because we have a new partnership with a company called Cardinal that's going to allow us to release a couple of really exciting licenses that they have. Ooh. And those are Marvel. And Jumanji. Okay, so my childhood right now is just geeking out. This is fantastic. Excellent. Uh, so Marvel and Jumanji. So what's going to set these apart from our your standard Flux games? Well, for uh, for one thing, they will they're going to be in a bigger box than usual, and they're going to come with a collector token in each case. Well, that's cool. Yeah, that's a neat little add-on that's come about as part of the the cardinal arrangement that we've got. Um, and and they're they're not just just for looks either. There's going to be a card in each of these decks that requires that you move the token. Like the, it's a turn token. It shows whose turn it is. So gotcha. you move it to the next player when your turn is over. And then if you if the move the turn token rules up and you fail to move it, then you have to discard a card out of your hand. There's a penalty for failing to move the turn token. But it's a collectible and a component. Yeah, absolutely. Perfect. Absolutely. So it's both of those. So that's and then if there's a little window, you'll be able to see it right through there. But then. Um, well, Marvel, let's take a look at them first. Marvel, Marvel is going to be great because it's got all the Marvel characters that we could squeeze in here. I mean, not all of them. There's so many characters. <laughs> There's a ton. And there are various ones that, you know, for, for uh, licensing reasons, we couldn't use everybody. But, you know, all the big guys are in here. Hulk and Iron Man and Spider-Man and, and Loki. And, and, of course, I am Groot. <laughs> I am Groot. I am Groot. There's, if you have Groot, you can only say, I am Groot. <laughs> if you fail, to, you, everybody loves Groot. Yeah. And people people will, will desperately avoid saying anything but, I am Groot, I am in order Groot. to hang on to it. But if you fail, you have to give it to somebody else. Okay. So that one's fun. But probably the coolest thing in here is, oh, wait, here's another neat new rule, spider sense. This this is a new one on a flux. Spider sense is tingling. When, you're, when it's tingling, you get to look, you get to draw an extra card for the card draw, mm -hmm. look at all the cards you drew, and then put one back. Oh. That you don't want, so your spider sense aware, alerts you to what's coming up in the future. I like that. So that's a that's a cool new one, um, but I think everybody agrees the the coolest new action is called the arena. Now this is actually one that was in one other version of Flux. If you've ever played um, Adventure Time Flux, okay. We've, we've had that rule in there before. But there's the arena. And what the arena does is it says every, all the other players have to put up one of their keepers, and the person who played it is then going to be the judge, and we decide who would win in a fight. Oh. <laughs> so, like, and, and if, if there's more than, more than uh, just a two-player game, then everybody puts up one. Right. In a two-player game, I would have to put up two combatants. Gotcha. So if, if for example... I were playing right now, and I had Spider-Man, Hulk, Iron Man, and Groot. I'd have to put two of them up for the arena. <sighs> and then make the case for who would win in a fight. Right. So, gosh, I, who do you think I should put up? I mean, my, my go-to here would be Hulk and, I'd, I'd say Iron Man. Hulk and Iron Man. All right, well, yeah. so let's say they enter the arena, Hulk versus Iron Man. Who's yeah. going to win? Now you're you're going to be the one who makes the final call. Oh boy! So I get to make my argument, and my I I have the vested interest because whoever wins this fight, I get to keep. Right. The loser gets discarded. Okay. So you know I, I'm going to be arguing for the one I want to keep, but in this case, well, you know we've seen uh, we've seen this fight play out on the big screen when Hulk was in the. Uh, um, well, actually, am I, am I right? Wasn't it, was Iron it? Man was in the Hulkbuster armor right. in Age of Ultron? In the, in the Hulk, that's there's your argument. So if if Iron Man was in his Hulkbuster armor, yeah, he would be able to beat Hulk. But without it, Hulk wins. That's what I think. What do you think? Who's going to win in that fight? I mean, 
based off the pictures, it doesn't look like Iron Man's in the Hulk I, buster that's what armor. I'm saying. Yeah. So I think that I'm going to have to say that the Hulk is the winner here. There you go. So the Hulk would win the fight. I would keep the Hulk, and Iron Man would get discarded. Okay. So that's that's the arena, and we have had some really fascinating arguments oh, about yeah. who would win when you get all these different characters. Well, especially the people that are very familiar with the Marvel lore. They dig into the... Oh, well, absolutely. In this, episode, yeah, in this issue, exactly. this fight happened, and it came. It, this was the way it turned out. Exactly. And... Um, What's great about that is that it then lets those Marvel nerds really geek out oh, on, yeah. on their, their knowledge. Absolutely. So Marvel Flux is going to be great because it's got everybody, all these characters everybody loves. But in a lot of ways, I'm more excited about Jumanji Flux because Jumanji Flux has something that no Flux has had before. And what's that? Elimination. Oh. You can get knocked out of the game. And that's because we have an entirely new kind of card called the Danger Card. So Danger Cards are going to knock a player out of the game depending on, on what they have. And there's like 17 of them in the game. And some of them are like, so if you have lions, the lions might, might turn and attack you. Hmm. Um, the, the, the snakes, if you have snakes, you might need snakes for, for the goal of, of dangerous reptiles, but then when the danger of snakes comes up, you're knocked out of Got the game. It. So it's the threat of keeping all of these you dangerous animals. You have to choose, do I want to keep the dangerous things? Against the possibility of them knocking me out of the game because they might win with them, or do I choose a moment to get rid of it because it's too too dangerous? Mm -hmm. um, the thing about elimination, though, is it's not permanent. You, if you get knocked out of the game, you can jump right back in. Okay, so you're not out and sitting on the sidelines. Yeah, exactly. Well, not not. I, don't know, I feel like my mic is still not right. Um, the the yeah, if you get knocked out, you have to wait for every other player to have had to have finished a turn. Okay, and then you can jump back in as a new player. Um, one of the cool things about Flux for any version is that you can jump in at any time mm -hmm. just by grabbing three cards. So new players can jump in. So if you're eliminated from the game, you get to jump back in as a new player. Gotcha. However, there's a limit on that as well because there's a new meta rule called no more lives and this <laughs> goes at the bottom of the draw pile okay so once we've gone through the deck one time this new meta rule goes into play and says basically we've used up all of our extra lives and now new players are not allowed to jump back in so death becomes real at that point and if you're eliminated from the game you stay eliminated so does this mean that this jumanji flux is based off of the new jumanji movie excellent question it is based on the world of jumanji okay so we have elements from both movies in here and in fact something from the original book because i'm a fan of the original picture book by chris van alsberg which i was interested in a fan of before the first movie came out because I am old. <laughs> <laughs> but one of the things that, that the original book had in it was a volcanic eruption, and I don't think that ever made it into either of the movies. I don't believe it did. But it's in my game, and it, you can get knocked out of the game because of the volcanic eruption, along with so many other things, including my favorite. If you have the cake in front of you, you can get knocked out of the game because of the extreme cake allergy. <laughs> <laughs> that will cause you to to to, uh, to lose that way. Oh, I and, would, yeah, I would have you, problems. If you have Finbar Mouse, um, you know he can he can Finbar and, and Cake equals Cake makes me explode. <laughs> one of my favorite goals of all time. <laughs> now this this one I, I has still fake art. We're just using art I grabbed off the internet. We're we've got a an artist named Sarah cranking out the art for this right now. Mm -hmm. We're hoping to go to the, to print with this just as soon as we possibly can. Um, but uh, it, the play testing is showing that it, it, it the, the play is solid and everybody's really excited about it because you know J Jumanji may not seem like uh, the biggest hit ever, but actually it, it's uh, been doing very well. Oh, I can like if yeah. you ask yeah, the anyone, the original is a classic, and last year's the the sequel kind of came out of nowhere. No, I, I wasn't expecting it. Like, whoa, another Jumanji movie, and then it was oh, yeah. so good. Oh, I was expecting a flop on it. And yeah, I, then I, I saw it. I'm like, this is amazing. Yeah, yeah. I was. Really, really impressed with it. So when uh, we heard that, that Cardinal wanted to work with us and some of the licenses they had, they were talking about, well, how about this or that? And they were saying that Jumanji was one of their biggest sellers last year. It's like, mm, wow, hmm. I can do a Jumanji game. <laughs> sure, let me add it. Well, and I love, too, that uh, you're digging deep on the Jumanji lore by including the picture book stuff from there as well. <laughs> and I mean, I, you, I see that in the other games, too. Like you're saying with Chrono Track, you're doing a deep dive onto some of the timelines there yes. and just the detail that you put into these games and the 
specificities is that's the right word the specificness uh that you're putting in is just really cool because it's, it's showing that you have a passion for this and that you're willing to put in the extra effort to deliver something above and beyond and i think that that's just really awesome well thank you so how much time do we have left uh we've got about five minutes left Andy. right well i'm gonna say why don't we play a, a couple of hands of of marvel flux well, tom you want to slide in here if we could pull in an extra chair and um our stage hand Which here is going to be side. setting us up quickly. But uh, <coughs> this is Tom. Tom is our, our, our new sales guy. And Tom is also a big Marvel fan. He was, in fact, one of my, uh, my, my key advisors as I was I working super, out the design of, of Marvel Flux. All right. So we do have to get you mic'd up. Give us one second here. You get the, the joy of putting that yeah, on. I, I, I surprised you guys by, by calling him in. Oh, no, you're uh, good. I figured it would work. Huh? That's fine. All right, so I haven't I haven't stacked this deck in any way, so it probably won't be the perfect demo game. But uh, oh, you're probably go. still gonna win, Andy. Well, uh, that's always my goal. Uh, I I don't I, I never throw a game. All right. So uh, I'll jump in and go first, and I have the mighty Thor. <laughs> you go first. I mean, you go next, rather. Clockwise around the circle, because we're in the northern hemisphere. I'm just going to play Hawkeye. Hawkeye! All right. All right, so remind me again the, well, the individual the steps. Draw one and play one. perfect. So draw one card, add it to your hand, and play one card. All new rules change. Okay. Changes take effect immediately. So, so new rule, play three, places play rule. So Great. play three so cards you in your hand. you need to play two more cards right now, because the rules are now... Draw one, play three. Okay, so the thing is that in my hand, I've got a bunch of goals right now. That's all right. Just, just If you can't play them, uh, can't do anything else, play a goal, and then uh, we'll all see right. what happens. So I'm going to play this goal here, Brothers right. in Arms, Captain America, and Falcon. All right, Good. so that's the first goal, Captain America and Falcon. You have one more play. I do, so I still have goals. Play so another I'll play one. another goal yeah. then. Sure. So I'm going to put in the Galactic Duo, so that's Rocket, Raccoon, and Groot. Rocket Ooh. and Groot. All right, so that is our goal for now. All right, my turn. Draw one, add it to my hand, and play one. I have Gamora. For my second play, I will... You know, I think I think that play play three is a bit too much. I'm going to trash that rule and push this back down to play one. All right. All right, your turn. All right. Draw one and play one. Uh, that's okay. I really only wanted to play one of my cards. I'm going to play Team Up, another new card. Oh, exciting. Mm -hmm. All right, Team Up. What's that so team? what Team Up is a little complicated. What we're going to do is... Is he's going to find a new team, a, a pair of guys, Ooh. a pair of heroes. So, you, and he's just going to keep flipping through cards until we find them. So, the first one is Spider Gwen. Spider Gwen is going to be joined on this team up by any day yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Getting there, we're getting, getting there. there. We're seeing a lot of random cards go by. I do like that you get to see which cards are getting discarded this yep, way. Yep, so, if you're yep. looking for a specific keeper or a specific <laughs> goal, you can watch it just slip right out from beneath you. Yeah, we're. I just it. discard through. Most yeah. of the deck, apparently. <laughs> there it <laughs> is. <laughs> All right, so you've got Bucky Barnes and Spider Gwen, and so they now go on a little two-card adventure of sorts. You're going to flip the next two cards and play both of those in the order they come up. So the next one will be will the goal, uh, the new rule of heroic sacrifice. And what's that? So that's an, a, a new rule that allows you to choose to throw away one of your keepers in order to draw three more cards. Uh, it's known as recycling in a lot of versions, but we called it heroic sacrifice in this version. Ah. Makes a little more sense. And then your other one is going to be Ooh. Falcon. Ooh. So there you go. That worked out pretty well. I got, yeah, a got a lot of heroes now. Heroes out of yeah. that, and I can uh, heroically sacrifice them later. Yes, you can. I fact, could do, you that, can do now. that right now. Yeah. It gets me how many cards? Three more Three cards. Three more cards. Yeah. I do want to do that. Um, I'm just going to get rid of Hawkeye. Poor Hawkeye. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I, it was almost Spider Gwen, but I like Spider Gwen a lot. No, I I, so. I, 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 I had a feeling you were going to toss. Hawkeye. Yeah, poor All right. Hawkeye. So that completes your turn. Yep, those just go in my hand, and goes in your hand, and you have more options for later. It's pretty good for only one play. That was an excellent play. All right, so team up's exciting. Uh, I, I still got all the goals, so I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to play sharpshooter. So then that's going to be uh, oh, Rocket oh, that, that, and Hawkeye. That, that, Hawkeye, yeah, too bad, Hawkeye. All right, my See, turn. Aren't Draw you one. aren't you and upset yeah. that you threw away Hawkeye? All right, uh, <sighs> I want still, some more options, so I'm going to heroically sacrifice Gamera, which seems per very appropriate. Exactly. <laughs> Draw three more cards. Too and soon, then, Andy. Too soon. <laughs> and then for my one play, uh, I, I got to play Rocket. Too bad I don't. Too bad Hawkeye. Where did Hawkeye go? I don't. Hmm. What happened to Hawkeye? It's not my fault. <laughs> he heroically sacrificed. Sure? Okay. It was heroic. Well, it is your turn. 
And we can Ooh. we can just call this at any time if we've run out of time. But uh, I figure we'll keep playing as long as you say. Oh, we got another round or two in us, I think. Um, I am going to heroically sacrifice Spider Gwen <gasps> this time. Oh. I'm, I'm going to draw something right now that requires her now that I've of done course. that. Mm. Uh, but that was just a free action, so I still have a play one. Yep. I'm going to play Doctor Strange. Nice. Doctor Strange has a special ability, which is that he oh. can reach into your hand and take something out and, and play it immediately. Let's see. Would you like to use Doctor Strange's ability? I would, in fact, and I'm going to steal from you because I know all you have is gold. <laughs> 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 so. He was fairly transparent about that. Yeah. Hmm. All yeah the, maybe maybe it's a really, really good poker face, and he's got all the, all the good gold. Oh, if I, if I, I, I think this just goes in my hand, I'd be no, downstairs. No, no, I think you play it immediately. I think Doctor you're Strange, right. Yes, you play it immediately. Ooh, so it's Trash a Keeper. Trash a Keeper. Mm. So that means uh, you could draw trash one of yours, but I have a feeling you're coming for my Thor. Or I Hawkeye. think Rocket needs to join Hawkeye <laughs> in the discard for this Fair goal. Enough. Yeah, both the sharpshooters got to go. All right. I believe that completes your turn. It is the end of my all turn. Right. All right. So Draw it's going one, back over to me. Play one. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm I'm going to set you up. I'm going to play uh, Hot Hands. So hot Hands. Ooh. Captain, Captain Marvel, Marvel Doctor, Strange. Doctor Strange. Have you seen Captain Marvel? Yet? I have. Oh, Ooh, how'd you like it's it? It's so very good. good. Oh, I loved it. I loved I'm so glad we could include her in this game. Yes. All right. Yeah, I'm so glad we got to include so many heroes in this Oh, game. yeah. It's got like two dozen great characters. I'm so excited about it. All right. Um, I will play... No, no. I better, I better go ahead and sacrifice Thor heroically. <gasps> heroically. For three more cards so I see what I can get. And then... Wow, I got a lot You're of... You're hoarding all the cards now. there, Andy. Uh, yeah, well... Uh, I, I will... I will... I will Help us all by playing a draw three. So now we get to draw three cards on our turn. Oh. I have only drawn one so far, so I draw two more cards right now in order to comply with that rule. And I'm out of options. Your turn, Tom. Draw all three, right. play one. Um, let's see what I've got. What have you got? Uh, I'm going to start by making it play four. Oh, nice. Oh, all right. Keep on playing three more cards, but um, you can heroically sacrifice. Don't forget. I'm going to... Play a Phil Coulson. Phil Coulson. You know, before I forget, I want to use Doctor Strange's power, and I'm going to steal something Me from your again? hand. <laughs> yeah, you again. Uh -huh. You do have all of I these all the fantastic stuff. cards. This one is Rules Reset. Oh, no! After I just added oh, the, the new plays. Oh, all these rules. I was trying to help you, you play more cards, play. and it just didn't work oh, out. That's the end of my turn, time. then. Yeah, that was it. All right. So Sometimes that is how that's it goes. What, well, that's what hmm. Doctor Strange gets. Yeah. All right. Know what's gonna Sometimes you just mess with it. So, you know what? I'm going to Science Bros. Science bro. Ah, Iron Man and Hulk. Okay. okay. Well, draw one. Uh, I can at least get us back up to play two, so I'll do that. And then for my other one, I've got Captain America. Oh. Not bad, not bad. Seems like a good choice. What do you got? Hmm. Mm, 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 mm. I wonder if he's got a Captain Marvel. Oh, no, it'll be too late now anyways. That goal's out. Mm, yes. That's true. Yeah, we're, we're That's true. Who's got the science bros? Yeah. Um, it's funny. The, this was our, our team up. I mean, our, our, it our was. arena example. It yeah. was. I'm gonna use Doctor Strange's power. But I'm gonna steal it from your hand oh. this time. I think. Oh, this, oh, oh, is this your only card? Yeah. Well, only I card. said it. I guess <laughs> I'm gonna do it. it. It is now. The goal is now brute force. Brute so instead, Hulk and Drax. Um, I'm also going to. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna play, Baby Groot. <laughs> Little Groot, actually, we we've uh, been told to call it Little Groot ah. instead. But you can only say I'm Groot. I'm Groot. Now. You are Groot. Are you done, Groot? I'm Groot. So does Groot have an ability as well? Then? Uh, no. <laughs> I'm Groot. Uh, He's got a lot of fine print explaining oh. this business <laughs> about how you can only say I am Groot and you have to give it away. This Groot, actually, the other thing, this is this is Little Groot, will be a promo card. I've got him in my deck because I'm playtesting everything, mm -hmm. but he'll be a promo card. He takes the place of regular Groot. If regular Groot is, is there, uh. regular Groot has to be discarded because, you know, that's kind of what happened to him. It's all one Groot. I got gotcha. you. I'm Groot. You are Groot. I'm Groot. <laughs> <laughs> so, new rule. Draw two. Okay, so draw another one right now, and you still have to play one more right now. Uh, and then, oh, look at that. Somebody's going to get it. It's, oh, it's Hawkeye and Ant-Man. Hawkeye and Ant-Man. When, when they I'm team Groot. up, somebody's going to get it. All right. Draw two and play two. Well, unfortunately, we know Hawkeye's, again, gone. But I do have Ant-Man. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. Um, oh, and it's play two also. It That's is play right. two. So I got one more play. Gosh, I wish I could steal that. I'm going to I'm gonna play this jackpot and draw three more cards. One, Ooh. two, three. All right. Tom's turn. I'm Groot. All right. I think this is going to be the last round here. Yeah, we so. need to, we need, somebody needs to win right I'm now. I'm Groot. 
Oh, we thought you were dead. Oh! Oh, oh no. interesting. This lets you find a hero that's in the discard pile and bring it back. Ooh. And so mm. he could be bringing back... Um, Hawkeye. Hawkeye. And then if he had a way to steal my Ant-Man, he could win right oh, now. Oh, man. It's now, almost like we planned has. that out perfectly. But uh, mm. he's got a bunch of cards in his I'm hand. Groot. <laughs> Hawkeye's in there. We know he's in there. He was right at the beginning. I'm Groot. Uh, he just passed him. There he is. Hawkeye? Is that who you're looking for? I'm Groot. Oh, you're Groot. <laughs> oh, Groot. he has some different agenda. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> you know, you could always just say something else and give away. I'm Groot. Groot. He wants my Thor. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. You have one more play? <sighs> you are Groot. I'm Groot. <laughs> <laughs> um... Just gonna. Oh, oops. Yeah, that was it. That was. I'm <laughs> just so. Yeah. Who are you giving it to? I'm gonna. I'm gonna give it to you. It to oh, you. thank right. you. Generous. Change the goal also. All right. Was that is? Are we gonna do one? One more? Or is I, that it? You're Groot. I am Groot. I'm yeah, Groot. Well. <laughs> oh, I am Groot. I. I am Groot. I am Groot. Uh. I am Groot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I am Groot. Ooh. Well, I'm not Groot, so I can say what I <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It's kind of it's terrible uh, having Groot sometimes, isn't it? You, I mean, <laughs> it's, it's maybe, maybe that's because I just like to always talk smack <laughs> when I play. But. I, I am Groot. I <laughs> All right. Well, I don't have any way to steal anything right now, so I think we're just going to have to call this on a kind of time because I know we're running out of it. I am Groot. But... I, I will just say that I have Thanos and Black Panther. Ha! Ah! Ah! All right. Well. All right. Good game. I think I think uh, in the interest of time, we need to call it. Unfortunately, but that's a glimpse at Marvel Flux coming this summer. Fantastic, Andy. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you so much. Uh, where can our viewers go to find out more information about any of the Looney Labs releases? Well, LooneyLabs.com would be the uh, the most direct place to find out about Looney Labs. And all of the games that you saw here today are going to be available in retail stores throughout the year as they come out. Yep. So go see out, go see your friendly local game store Absolutely. and get some Looney Labs games under your belt. Signing off for now, though. I'm Matt. Have a good one, everyone. Thanks for playing our games.